yeah so in this example uh, like we we would like to show you the different data types and uh, we'll just use the size of operator and to print the size of the different data type that's it okay i'm planning to create different variables we already done this program but i'm just uh, opening uh, like a new project so if somebody is still not clear about the process just have a look here okay so i'm just clicking on file and new and uh, we are just uh, making a c c++ project okay so you can click on it and see managed build then next okay so let's see let's choose the project name okay so project name i'm just giving project 2 all right so project 2 then i'm just choosing the compiler as minji wgcc and click on next okay so that's a debug and release it's all as okay as it is we will be choosing just click on finish okay so the project 2 has been created whenever project 2 will be created so that time you will be able to see like here it's in the left side okay now i'll just click here i just right click here i would like to go for new and see here i'm going to include a source file okay source file is like usually dot c file i'm writing i have only one source file for this program so i written main dot c and uh, yeah that's it so just click finish okay so you'll be able to see that whenever i project 2 if i successfully created you'll be able to see this includes will be the, here okay and uh, then main dot c is here and when it is created who is created all the details it's showing that's it so now let's write into the program i'm just uh, like i'm just uh, doing it quickly okay so you can also write parallelly with me and see how this getting printed yeah here i would like to explain the program so i simply written on uh, like a program with uh, multiple variables okay so you can see the structure of the c program we have this uh, header file stdio.h where like printf scanf okay all standard input uh, like functions defined so i just included that header file and uh, from our main program int main program we declared the multiple variable one is age integer is 10 and the name of the student we used the starting okay first uh, letter only so the single character g and the weight of the student is 35.14 it's a decimal value it's a floating point uh, like value but we declared the data type as double double or float okay both works okay so double can like like let's see the data like maybe this using the size of operator let's see the size how much uh, it's taking so accordingly we can decide which or what you want to use okay uh, right then we are simply printing using the printf statement we are printing name is and here you can see the format specifier i used is percentage c okay so the name like here i took the name as a single character if you want to print that you can use percentage c and the size of operator the size is uh, like i am using the format specifier as percentage i 64 d okay so it's actually expecting an integer data which can be of 64 bit long okay so that's it and the variable we are like writing in the same order look like, okay how we written the format specifier in the same order we have to write the variable okay so for percentage c the variable is name and for percentage i 64 d the variable is size of care you, are, you have seen right the size of is an operator only so size of and i written the data type okay so size of character and here you can see the size of integer okay so everything is getting printed that's it and the weight of the student and uh, weight and size of double okay size of double data type will be able to see and size of integer is very crucial as i told already the reason if you understood what is the size of integer you will be able to see that which compiler we are using okay so whether it is 32 bit or 16 bit whatever it is all right so i think all done i just uh, return like maybe one second i just right click here and you can click on build project okay so i already built here so there was zero errors and zero warnings okay fine then you can see the binary has been created so now let me run it okay so just click on run as local c or c plus plus application all right so that's it all detail i'm getting the student detail is name is g and uh, size size of characters of course one by age is 10 and the uh, size is four by this four by this for the integer so it means to say the compiler which we are using with this uh, stm 32 cube id so that compiler is uh, 4 by 4 by it means 4 into 8 32 bit compiler okay of course you understood right? it is designed for 32 bit microcontroller and this compiler is also 32 bit so that clarity i hope it's clear right all all got it and after that we can see the weight is uh, something the weight is 35.14 which we have given okay so but we are getting more accuracy more accurate result we are getting that because we were using double data type okay so instead of load we used to double here 
All right. So I think that's clear. You can see the percentage LF we were using. Okay. LF is for double. Uh, if you want, we can ch change it and see. Or maybe you can add a double data type and see like all primitive data type, how much memory it's consuming. I'm just adding one more data type. Okay. Like a double variable and see, I'll, I would like to print the size of uh, double and float. Okay. Double already you have. So float variable I'm adding and we will see the, we'll compare the size of float and double. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah, now you can see I just added one more variable. Okay, float height is 4.2, height of the student is 4.2. And so here I just added one more print of statement, height is uh, percentage F, since it float, right? So I just written percentage F as the format specifier and the uh, size, okay, so size is size of float, okay. All right, so now let's see, like, let me run this and show you. Okay, as a C, C++ application, so we'll be able to see that, okay. Uh, height is 4.2 point okay so that accuracy we are getting and the size is 4 bytes okay so understood right double was taking 8 bytes if you don't need double of course you have to use uh, float okay so double double was consuming 8 bytes and uh, height is consuming that means height is uh, like uh, normal float it was consuming only 4 bytes okay so i hope it's clear what are the primitive data types okay we discussed character in double float okay all format specifiers i go i hope it's clear and additionally, we have done one more thing that is the size of operator. Using size of operator, we will be able to find the size of any given data type. We don't want to remember, okay, even I told that is compiler dependent. So I have to execute it and see. One hint I told already, if I, like whenever you are getting the size of integer, so that will be directly connected to the compiler size. Okay, so here we understood that integer is 4 bytes, hence we are using a 32 bit compiler. Okay, all right, so this is the conclusion. And one more thing I would like to tell you here, it's not necessary that always we'll be writing uh, size of double or size of the square and all. Okay, so directly we can write the variable name, size of name, right? So size of name is basically the character. And so here, instead of writing size of integer, I can write the name. Okay, so name is uh, like, sorry, the variable name is age. Okay, so directly I'll be writing size of age instead of writing size of age. Okay, so this one more thing I would like to show you. I hope it's all clear. Okay. Let's build the project again, once again. Okay, zero errors and zero warnings. Okay, perfect. So then again, run this project. All right, so run local C, C++ application. Don't uh, go for the shortcut, okay. So this shortcut, uh, like we will be using for the, like a target board, okay. If you're writing the program for the target machine, we'll be using. So that's it, the same, uh, like result I'm getting. Name is G and the size is one byte, okay. So here we return instead of the size of character, we return size of the variable name. But still, of course, okay, so that variable data type is char, right? So that's the reason it's showing again one byte. Okay, so it was very simple experiment. Okay, nothing new here. All are clear. We just uh, seen like what's the syntax of C program. Okay, what's the structure? Okay, so the syntax of variable declaration and all. I think that's all clear. And about the printf function, that syntax printf function, how we'll be writing. Uh, yeah, so I hope that basic concepts are clear, right? So yeah, that's it. Thank you. And maybe in the coming video, we will see few more concepts in uh, C programming. Maybe let's uh, like let's talk more about the type modifiers like signed and unsigned number system. And let's see the differences. Already I showed you, like I already told you what's the difference between signed and unsigned and why we want to declare certain variable as unsigned. Okay. So here only you can see that I am having one variable, integer variable int age. So here I haven't specified anything. I simply written int age. By default, I told you that by default, it's getting treated as a signed integer. Okay, what's the problem if I'm using signed integer? Signed integer, the range will be minus 32,000 something to plus 32,000. So only that much values only I'll be able to store it in the uh, signed integer. Anyway, here it is age, age can't, uh, like it can't be more than 33,000 or something, right? So that is okay, but in the previous example, I told already, like for the bank balance central, it will be like a trouble. So if you are very clear about, you are not going to use the negative values at all for that variable, just uh, use this type modifier as unsigned. Okay, so maybe in the coming video, I'll be showing that how we'll be using uh, like unsigned and signed number system and what will be the difference. Okay, let me, uh, I'll try to clarify with an example. That's it. Okay. So thank you all. I hope this uh, session is very useful for everybody. Okay, so try to like sort this issue. Okay, just uh, write the size of operator and find the uh, different uh, data types, size. Okay, how much bytes it's consuming. As I told already, 
as an embedded engineer, we have to be very careful about the memory usage. Okay. So yeah, each, every bits and bytes, you should be very clear. Right. Okay. Then thank you. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.